Why am I tossing my toilet? Instead of replacing all those little parts and pieces, let's just get the entire base. Oh, that moves so much smoother now than our old handle. Just sounds good. About six months ago, back in January, I did a video where I repaired my Thetford Aqua Magic Style 2 toilet. There was a couple of things wrong with it. The valve right here, which injects water into the toilet, was leaking, just a couple of drips here and there. And then the ball valve was leaking water. So what happens is there's a, a seal over here and it goes over here. And when you flush, there was a little gap and it was dripping water. So I replaced these valves and the valve in here and it did great. Now at the end of that video, I talked about how instead of replacing all those little parts and pieces, let's just get the entire base. So you can get the entire base for 80 bucks where the parts alone for this are uh, 50 bucks. So for $30 more, you get the entire base completely assembled. Now what's happened since I did this repair in January, my ball valve started leaking again. And the reason my ball valve was leaking is because I cheaped out at the time I did the repair and I reused my ball valve. And these, I didn't realize it, but these wear out. I didn't, I was being cheap. I didn't want to spend the $30 for the replacement ball valve. And so we get, our ball valve is leaking again. When, when, when the ball valve leaks, it has a gap. You don't have any water in there. And then the smell starts to come through the toilet and nobody wants a stinky toilet. So um, in this video, I'm gonna go through how I just, just buy this for 80 bucks, switch it real quick, takes five or 10 minutes. You don't have to get in and fix any of the little parts and pieces or anything like that. You just switch in the base. The other big benefit to this is that when you work on this base and you work on this ball valve, you're gonna have to clean inside of here. Now, after a couple of years of using these toilets, you will get a buildup inside this column here that is a couple of inches thick. And you're gonna have to clean that out if you are gonna deal with this ball valve. So $30, just not have to deal with the crap inside of here. To get started, the first thing is to turn off the water to the RV at the spigot. Relieve pressure in the lines by flushing the toilet and then disconnect the water supply line and its connection to the base of the toilet. It's a good idea to put a couple of rags down to catch the water that's dripping out. Remove the plastic caps that cover the nuts that attach the base of the toilet to the floor. Use pliers, a wrench, or a ratchet to loosen the half inch nuts. You should be able to use your fingers to spin the rest of the nut off. Repeat on the other side of the toilet. With both Toilet closet flange nuts removed and the water line disconnected, you're ready to lift off the toilet. Carefully lift the toilet straight up over the nuts and place the toilet down. Pull out the T-shaped nuts coming out of the toilet flange and take some time to clean up the toilet flange and then block it with a plastic bag or something like that to block the smell while you're working on the toilet. I took the entire toilet outside and put it on a table to make it a lot easier to work on. First thing we're going to do is we're going to move the vacuum breaker hose here. We're just going to pinch the clamp right here, loosen that. I got a little bucket here to catch the water because there's water in here. And let that drain out. Put that over there. We got that disconnected. We're going to leave this attached to the bulb because that stays. Next, we're going to loosen these two bolts right here. Use a 3 8 inch ratchet. Get them loose. Now these screws have got a washer, a metal washer, and a plastic washer. We'll set these aside. The, the new kit actually came with new screws, so maybe we'll use the new ones. Okay, from there, you can see from the inside there, we just need to rotate the toilet this way. So we rotate it, and you see it comes off of those little tabs right there. Can you see the tabs? See the little tabs right there? It comes off those tabs and you just basically lift it up off the tabs and that comes off just like that and there we have our old base now we're getting rid of this entire thing so we'll get rid of that 
we want to make sure that this is really clean before we're going to put it on the toilet again. So we're just going to clean this off really good. Make sure we got a good seal. Now the kit comes with a brand new retaining ring that goes over the ball. It has lube on it, so it should slide on nice and easy. Just presses on. You put it down with the O-ring side down and just press it into place like that. So we'll take some lube. This is just uh, your basic uh, plumbing lube. Okay, we're gonna put some plumbing lube on there. Okay, and we're gonna put the plumbing lube on there. And then the other thing we need to do is the back gasket on the bottom. This one goes on here like this. Just take that and stick it around the edge right here. You don't need any lube on this one. It just presses on there like that. And now what we need to do is put the bring the bowl and put it back on top of here. So I'm gonna hit it, sit it backwards like this. Unfortunately, this retaining ring wants to keep popping up. So I'm gonna have to be careful to keep that from popping up. Reattaching the china bowl to the base. Make sure the bottom of the china bowl opening is clean where it will mate with the waste ball seal. Align the four holes in the bowl with the four locking tabs on the base. Then rotate clockwise until the two bolt holes from the base are aligned with the holes in the china bowl. We'll make sure that the holes, we'll make sure the holes right here are right in the middle of the holes right there. The tabs are fully engaged and you line those up. Now we're gonna use, we're gonna use a screw plus a plastic washer. And that goes down into there. And then we're gonna use another, another uh, screw and a plastic washer. Put that down into that one. Take our 3 8 inch and Okay, so we got both of those on there now. We don't want to tighten them down too hard. We want to snug them though, bring them all the way down to tight. Snug. Just so I see the little bit of the plastic getting squished a little bit. Now what we have to do is put, then we have to put the vacuum breaker hose back on. Just pop the vacuum breaker hose on there like that. Compress the spring clip and slide it down. Oh, that moves so much smoother now than our old handle. Just sounds good. Now that we have the new base firmly attached to the china bowl and we have the gasket on the bottom and we have our new ball valve in here and it's closing properly. Now we're ready to reinstall it in the bathroom. Okay, here we come in with the toilet. We make sure we set our bolts in the right position here, where they want to be, like probably like right there. And we're gonna have to set these right over top. And we're gonna have to do this really carefully. And we're gonna have to put one in at a time. I've got that one in. Okay, you can see the bolted bolt right here and angle it, we're gonna sit that bolt right in there. And we're gonna wiggle it, make sure it's right in the right in the right spot. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a bolt over on this side. We're gonna put the bolt on this side. Okay, 
put our cap on. Now reconnect the water line to the base of the toilet. Just hand tighten this. You don't want to uh, over tighten it and strip the plastic. Okay, we got it all installed. Let's see how it works. It flushes and it seals. Well, replacing the entire base is so much faster and then easier than replacing this, the individual parts when doing maintenance on this Thetford toilet. Um, the big thing really is that you don't have to get involved with the mess inside. You don't have to mess with the ball valve and all the muck in there. You just replace the whole unit. I'm just gonna throw this whole thing away now and we'll be done. Now, if you like this video, and you found some value in it, please consider subscribing to our channel by clicking this link below and you won't miss any of our upcoming episodes. Now, I would also love it if you'd share your, story, your toilet story with us in the comments section below. Do you have one of these Thetford toilets? Have you had to fix it? Have you done the entire base replacement or did you just replace the parts? Please share it down there in the comments for everybody to see. Now, I'm also gonna leave a link right over here for the last toilet video that we did where we did do the separate parts in case you want to check that out. And remember, downsizing does make sense.